Habari. Jina langu ni Natalie Yamb. If you are from English speaking Africa, this video is for you. Grab a drink and take a seat. The news just came in. The next France Africa summit will be held in Kenya in 2026, as announced by Emmanuel Macron and William Ruto on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. I'm quickly making this video and I'm doing it in English to warn my Kenyan brothers and sisters, as well as all of you in Southern and Eastern Africa. Beware, the French are coming to your countries. The France Africa summits, which have been held since 1973, first annually, then every two years, then every three years, four years, and now every five years, have lost their relevance. France's traditional partners in Africa are either inaudible or have severed ties with a country that just can't shake off its colonial habits. Compared to other international meetings of the same kind like China Africa, Russia Africa, USA Africa or even Korea Africa, France's summit looks pathetic. So for the 28th edition in 2021, Macron tried to reinvent the format by bringing in mostly insignificant young people, coached to take over and breathe new life into France Afrique instead of the old discredited politicians. The result? A disaster. Everything he touches is doomed to fail. In 2026, he will try a new approach, relocating the event to an Anglophone country with the most subservient president of the region, William Ruto of Kenya, the guy who had 40 young people killed during the Gen Z protests against his budget earlier this year. To lure the public, they will naturally highlight bogus themes like environment of cl or climate change, topics put on the global agenda by Westerners who fear nothing more than Africa fully tapping into its energy potential to become, alongside China, the low-cost manufacturing hub for the rest of the world. My dear people of East and Southern Africa, you need to know that Macron's France was kicked out of the Sahel, where it had been plundering resources for decades, if not centuries. Don't allow William Ruto to turn Kenya into a dumping ground for French waste rejected by West, Central and even North Africa. Don't let Tanzania, Mozambique or Angola become the next deployment sites for the mercenary disguised as the French army or the French media. I particularly want to warn Tanzanians. The new French ambassador to your country, Anne-Sophie Ave, was previously responsible for spreading propaganda and misinformation for friends in Africa, threatening and targeting leaders like me or the heads of state of Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso who promote African sovereignty. If you don't know me, I am Emmanuel Macron's worst female nightmare. In 2019, he had me arrested in the French colony of Côte d'Ivoire and deported uh, from Africa to Europe. Yes, you heard that right. Just like our ancestors were taken during the era of slavery. But instead of being thrown into the hold of a ship, I was put on an Air France plane in Abidjan and forcibly sent to Switzerland. In 2022, European media widely reported on the French government's decision to ban me from entering or staying in France. And all of this simply because I fight for Africa's liberation. The new French ambassador to Tanzania even testified before the French parliament earlier this year about the strategies and tactics she uses to suppress the truth about France in the countries where she operates. She will surround herself with artists and influencers, organize dinners and parties like Didi, wear traditional attire and dance wherever and whenever she can. She will sponsor TV shows and even host them, speak Swahili, pray local, sleep local, all to ensure 
She has an army of local people on social media who will do the dirty work of attacking Pan-African leaders or emancipation narratives and defend France's influence and domination at all costs while she sits back and watches with delight as Africans fight each other for the sake of France. She did it in Ghana, and I bet whatever you want that she has already started doing it in Tanzania. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. I also saw that France has recently approached Tanzania to discuss, quote, security cooperation, including establishing a boots on the ground presence in this critical region, unquote. Beware barbarians at the gate. Dear friends, France has nothing good to offer you. Its track record in so-called Francophone Africa is disastrous. Financing terrorism and rebellions, killing hundreds of thousands of innocents, sponsoring and perpetrating, perpetrating coup d'etat, looting resources and maintaining poverty and corruption via the CFA franc. I have hundreds of videos on this on my YouTube channel, some of them in English or with English subtitles. Feel free to dig in. Remember, not a single African country that France has supported or managed over the past hundred years has achieved your level of development. Not one. This is just an introduction. Between now and 2026, we will have plenty of time to talk, to exchange ideas and experiences, and to stop the redeployment into your region of the most mediocre and incompetent colonial power of all time, France. Asante.